Hi and welcome to Beck's Bug Out Survivor. I took out three identical meals over three different camps and I needed a container big enough to put this food in. The food was a packet of pre-cooked rice and a tin of pre-cooked chicken and white sauce. So three camps had the th same meal, but three different pots. The pots we're gonna have a look at are the Primus, one litre, and then the Jetboil Minimo, that's one litre, and the Jetboil Skillet Pan, all over one litre. And I'll explain the rationale and reasoning behind why I would have a larger pot, because there are gonna be some in the comments I know why have you got such a large pot? But those questions have been answered in different videos to why. So I'll quickly go over that again. Another reason I like the larger pots is I can stop off at a shop and get myself some rice and a tin of curry. I don't even have to cook, I just warm it up. And we're going to have a look at some back footage of the testing during three different camps. This would be great if I was bringing a freeze-dried meal with me. They're about six, seven quid each for a good one. You know, they taste all right when all you're doing is boiling water. It can be a little more expensive to go down that road. So on a budget, what I do corner shop and some rice and maybe a curry in a tin anything in a tin that can just empty into a larger pot will do me there is going to be a weight penalty on the food and maybe a weight penalty with the pot itself as you can imagine half the size half the size in the pack but i can't get a ration pack in that and that would be too big to do a freeze-dried meal. Now, before we move on to extracts from the night camp, or three night camps with three identical meals, I am just gonna quickly power up a smaller liquid alcohol stove. It's a titanium pot. It means it won't actually be very good for putting food in it'll scald while i wait for this to boil we'll start off by showing you extracts from three totally different camps using three totally different stove and pot systems We'll add the creamy sauce and chicken now. The rice is more or less fluffed up nicely. Remember, it only needs warming up, it doesn't need cooking. The bad thing about trekking when you're buying from a shop like this is have to carry your crap away don't bury it or throw it on the fire the next point on the map 
where there's a little town. You'll know there's a bin. Quick taste, just to see if it's hot enough. Makes like a chicken soup this does with rice. It's really nice. Oh god, that's gorgeous. Could do with being a bit hotter. Leave it a bit longer. But my food prep bag like this I always carry a Ziploc bag something like that to put the empties in now a trekking pot remember any pot really that will fit a rice and a tin in or pasta I don't know what you have you might want to boil veg but you're not going to do it in a little 500 ml chokes pot those kind of pots are only good for boiling water if you're bringing with you freeze-dried food and sometimes I do do that but um, not for 10 days that would be really pricey The last meal I cooked with my mini mo was chicken and rice. So with this pot of an equal size chicken and rice, I've got a feeling that chicken and rice is going to stick to this pot, but I hope not. Because if it starts sticking, I will bring out the mini mo and the mini mo I think could be heavier. I always add a little bit of water to this rice. I know you don't have to, but it really does aid it quite a lot. It's meant to be kind of pre-cooked, but at least while it's heating through on a camp flame, you don't want it burning and the water helps. You could just bring a little oil if you don't want to use water and turn that right right down there you go okay i think that rice is softened up enough now i can bring my tin in this is a great way of doing a trek from town to town different night you've got a different meal and you don't need to take your meal with you you just buy it from the corner shop little tin and some rice or your pasta whatever you want okay mix that up i'm on a very very low heat it only needs warming up I don't think it'll be hot enough yet. Oh, nice though. Mm. That's fantastic. Increase the heat a bit. Every time you increase the heat, increase the speed of your stirring. But what I was actually going to say is, I have that jet boil skillet pan, and it will do exactly the same meal as this. Same meal, different pot. Here's the pot is the jet boil skillet it's pretty much everything i need here's the rice i will be adding a little bit of water to that Ooh, maybe a bit too much yeah i do have a simmering Okay, I think that's ready for the actual chicken. And throw the simmer ring on that. Of 
simmering. Much better. Ooh, this is going to cook quick. We spoke before on a different pot, same meal. We don't want the bottom of the pan sticking. So continuous stirring will prevent that. And this has a ceramic base. I'm a pan setter choice for tracking is actually my skillet pan. So if you've got Wayfarer Meals, Duke of Edinburgh or Army Ration Packs, a bit of water on top, bring it to a boil. Steak, mushrooms, asparagus, peppers and make a sauce, which I did on one of the night camp videos that the members will have seen me cook a delicious meal in that and of course i am not against the cut style pot i have a few of them but for those pots i take the meals with me such as freeze dried and i buy them in bulk and i take out a breakfast and an evening meal per day and just head out and a small 500 mil titanium or stainless steel pot suits me too so what happens to the other pots? So just in other packs. Now I do like some proper cooking, like I said, afternoon, an omelette, and then evening meal, a steak, the eggs, maybe in the morning, even breakfast. They're all the things you can't do if you use a cup style pot. And I do enjoy real cooking. You might not, a pot would suit you as where a skillet would suit me. So until next time, take care of yourself. Maybe try some real cooking. You might even get to like it. Happy trails.